okay so today i'm going to talk about is 8 gb of ram enough for macbook air not only for macbook air it's also for macbook pros or any other macbooks so is 8 gb of ram enough I'm not going to tell you guys, I'm going to show you guys going inside of my Mac. Uh, so if you have a MacBook Air or Pro or you want to buy, if you have then you have, but if you want to buy one, then you may have this question inside of your mind that is 8GB of RAM enough or not. Let's go inside of my MacBook Air and let's see is 8GB of RAM enough or not. And the screen recording is on. Okay, I'm on the screen and I have around 4GB left on my Mac out of 8 gigabyte. All right, so I'm going to do some photo editing. It's uh, tomorrow's PSD file, cheapest PC build review. I'm just going to open all of the things in Photoshop and I'm going to do three copy of this thing and let's see how much it can handle. All right, I'm just opening this thing inside of Adobe Photoshop and it's coming up and I'm waiting for a little to load. I'm going to keep my eye on this thing, 3.75 gigabyte. All right, let it open. Here you can see here is a pretty good quality Photoshop file. It's uh, actually 720p. All right, so I'm going to do three copy of this thing. New 720p and whole thing copy. Let's go. Shift control this select. All right, I'm going to select all of them. Going inside of this and pretty good. One copy. Let's go. And right now I have around 3.75 gigabyte. All right. Uh, what 2.1 gigabyte anyway uh, i'm going to do one more copy i'm going to do one more copy but this time with higher resolution okay i'm going to open this new file it's a pretty big file all right and okay done for photoshop let's do a little adjustment on this layer let's go for j all right and remove this this and this and yeah think i have already edited two photos and one extra photos high resolution now i have around 881 megabyte uh, sorry 700 uh, sorry how can i tell you exactly the ram is just changing constantly anyway around 700 or 800 all right now i'm going to do a little different thing that is i'm going to export one video inside final cut pro x because that's what i do while i'm rendering a video i exactly edit one photo and uh, let us let me show you what happens at that moment one sec let it load all right final cut pro x is loaded and here is a 1080p timeline i'm also going to drag and drop this video tomorrow's video yeah so i'm gonna drag and drop this thing over here and as you can see it's already pretty pretty laggy and choppy uh 96 mb of like 96 megabyte of ram available out of 8 gigabyte you need at least 16 gb anyway uh, usually what i do is i open spotify while playing or rendering photos i open spotify over here as you can see i have spotify i open spotify i hear some music and uh, start doing my photo editing thing and uh, now this thing is getting messy and lag i don't know i can do the screen recording or not on top of all of this i'm also recording the screen that means it is taking much more power by the way the thing is 8 gb of ram is not enough on this computer just think i haven't yet edited all of the photos these photos are just pre-edited so can you understand if you are going to edit from the scratch it will take much much ram anyway so the ram is not enough let me show you some screenshots i have on my computer let me show you usually i get out of ram like 20 mb 730 mb i usually get out of ram as you can see 730 20.5 megabyte and that is what it is like 8 gb of ram on macbook air or even macbook pro or even any macbook is not enough if i am going to render this video right now this device will just turn off like photoshop will crash my device will be like this kind of unusable like can you see this kind of unusable so 8 gb of ram is not enough for this macbook air even if i'm just going to remove all of these files and as you can see removing all of these files are still very laggy can you see this but if i'm using single application like i'm only using adobe photoshop i'm only using final cut pro x then this device kind of do its stuff that is my final conclusion 8 gb of ram on macbook air is not enough if you want to get 
uh, go with the 16 GB or if you want to do future proofing go with the 32 GB uh, that's what I'm going to do I'm going to buy the MacBook Air MacBook Air. what I'm talking about I'm going to buy the MacBook Air 16 inch on that MacBook Air 16 inch I'm going with the 32 GB memory because 8 GB is just not enough for me because I use uh, Google Chrome Adobe Photoshop Final Cut Pro X sometime VS Code and Spotify and all of those applications run at a time and that means 8 GB of RAM is not enough I need at least 16 GB by the way if you are doing uh, light things very very light things using singular application then you can go with 8 GB no problems but uh, for most of the people I think 16 GB will be the better choice in my opinion anyway that is all for this video i hope you got the thing you wanted to know so 8 gb of ram is not enough go with 16 or future proofing go with 32 and if you are a normal person you want to use one application at a time go with 8 gb but if you want to use a multiple applications at a time go with 16 gb but if you are a super pro go with 32 anyway